friends welcome to my video in this video we'll see how to compress and reduce the size of the image file on your android app we'll do it in android 13 api level 32 so let's begin we'll create a new project next probably compress my image you can name this uh, app anything there's the things i'll leave it as it is click on finish wait for my environment to load i'll pause the video uh, and resume once the environment loads up perfect my environment is loaded up so i'll begin so first and foremost what i'll do is probably i'll add my access required or privileges required in my manifest file we'll add the user permission so let me quickly add user's permission yeah i'll need two permissions probably one is i'll read and i'll be doing this all in the downloads directory so and the other one would be the right i'll do the same thing in the java code as well uh i mean i'll okay i can minimize this and i'll add the code to seek the permission from the end user to grant the permission so request permission actually of course the current activity and new string and probably okay i can probably copy paste also no, it's not coming, so it's better to go ahead and copy paste quickly. Control C, Control V, and just press Alt Enter so that the respective aesthetic methods can be imported in this particular Java code. Similarly, here also, I think you have to press Alt Enter for the second one also. Perfect. Now, the third argument will be package manager get permission. Granted. Perfect. So that's it. I'll run this in the emulator in parallel so that my emulator can come up and I'll continue to the uh, layout. Okay, so my emulator is coming up. I'll just minimize it. Okay, that is keep popping up. I don't need that emulator for a time. Yeah, so what all things I need is I'll need a button to trigger uh, the size compress. Probably I can name this button as compress image. Okay, and I'll put the right required constraints. I don't think I will need this text view. I'll just remove it. And I will need probably two image views. One will be to show me the flow picture. And I can oh, I'll leave it as it is probably. And the second one will be to show the compressed uh, image. Okay, so perfect so one by one if i start first let me put the constraints for this one and the id is already given image view for this one again i'll give some kind of constraints and id is image view 2 so this is what we'll be using in our java code so let me quickly do this let me quickly define two java variables one will be image view and the second one will be image view 2 and i'll connect or associate them with the widgets in my layout so find view by id r dot id dot image view similarly for image view 2 find view by id r dot id dot image view 2 perfect okay i think let me check quickly in the emulator okay so it has come up click allow to allow the access to this uh, storage still the image view is, has not come up because we added the image view later uh, uh, and we started the emulator much a little bit earlier okay there is some issue so i think so let me just minimize this and see what's the issue uh, everything is good to me there then seems to be any error let me retry I don't know why that okay so no okay so last time i think i did in uh, this one uh apply changes uh rather than doing the run app so i think now it works perfectly fine okay now i'll also define a public method public void button compress image okay and view view so this button or this method we will associate it with the button over here by going to the on click attribute of this button it should be somewhere 
in the common attributes list yeah so if i go back the color of this matter will change a bit and the uses will come up over here now before i proceed i'll quickly show you in the emulator that i have already downloaded a file in my downloads folder so let it come up and that's the file we will be using for our this experiment program. so i have a couple of files but probably i'll use this first file which is around 22 kilobyte file but we'll still try to reduce the size of this file further okay so let's see how it turns out i'll minimize the emulator for the time being and i'll go here i'll define a couple of more uh, class variables one will be probably the storage volume yeah, that we'll be needing i'll show you later why and where we'll be needing it and the other one will be for bitmap yeah so bitmap will be of, of course the bitmap of image here okay now in the on grid itself first let me complete a storage volume which is basically to access the internal memory uh, for accessing the file so get system storage system service and the service which we need is a storage service perfect and it may ask me to type cast to a storage manager now using this storage manager what we can do is we can yeah now is what we will be using our storage volume which we have defined earlier in the, this class uh, as a class variable so we'll be using this storage manager to get the storage volume and we'll fetch the internal uh, storage which is basically the zero index okay so this is basically to fetch the internal storage internal storage now using this storage volume we can now use it for our creating the file so file of the image or input file you can see not image input file input and this will be of course new file and probably first i can give the storage volume dot get directory dot get path and then we can append the for the name what we want which is basically download download slash images dot jp easy so that's a file which exists in our downloads folder images dot jp i'm hard coding it of course you can take it as an input also from a user but i want to keep this as a simple uh, as simple as possible this one now we'll be using our bitmap image to create bitmap from file and that file will be file input dot get path perfect so this will convert this file the input file into the bitmap image and that's what we'll be using in our compress method however why i'm doing all these things in the own kit is because i want to at least so this as an input image also over here perfect so the moment the app starts uh, this to show it uh, as an input image i can probably do it very quickly here the app start okay in the meantime i'll start my uh, the second method which is the bit uh, button compress image the main method so i can see my app is also loading on the right hand side and perfect if you see the image is loaded in the first image view which is the top one probably what i can do is i can shift it to the right hand side a bit or probably i can do one thing right i'll instead of okay so if i scroll up right now it says the wrap content is the width and height so what i'll do is i'll just physically change the width and height now this will be completely into this much width only or probably i can still increase it a bit that doesn't that is not a problem but however i'll give it a, a fixed width which is around what uh, i'm not sure it's still why it is coming as a lab content so it's just between code yeah so this is the first image which is the 178 and 164 that's what i was expecting here to be seen okay so i think there was some delay uh, that's why I, in the refresh so probably what i can do is i can just make it as a standard 180 165 and i'll do the same thing with this one also i'll make it as 180 dp, DP and over here 165 dp perfect and i'll just put it below this perfect now if I, okay i'll just restart also this app in the meantime and now i'll start the this my compress image method and over here okay so now if you see this has 
a fixed size and let's see how it comes up in this second image which is will show from this particular method so over here first and foremost what we will do is we will create some simple byte array not input i think output string byte array output string new byte array output string okay and we will be using this to capture our output string when we are compressing our bitmap so there is a bitmap image dot compress this second method we have to use and if you notice here three input arguments we have to give first one is the uh, this format so what we can do is in for the format is we can use this our bitmap compress yeah uh, compress format so the jpeg we can give please not try to give jpeg because that's something which will allow you to compress if you give png it may not allow you to compress and then i think it's a quality of your uh, image to be compressed so zero is the worst and 100 is the best quality so i will go for the worst because it's, it will be apparent uh, that what we have done over here and then the output stream which is which we just know our we have defined okay so once we have it then we can convert this into our byte array bytes array and what we can do is we can convert this output stream to byte array yeah perfect so now our data is in byte array and now we have to write this in a particular file to show it but before that i'll do also one thing i'll create another uh, bitmap because i have to also display it on the uh, i want to display it on the image view also so bitmap bitmap or i will name it compressed okay compressed image name becomes long but it's fine and then what i can do is i can use bitmap factory over here i guess and then there should be an option to decode ah, this one is what i was looking for i guess decode byte array and my first input will be of course the byte array which is i already have bytes array and the second input is offset zero length could be probably uh, i can use the length of my bytes array so what i'll do is bytes array dot length perfect so now i have my this bitmap and i can show it on a no, 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 not image uh, not get sorry set set image bitmap and i can use this as an input to be displayed in this particular image image perfect however i also want to write it in a new file so what i'll do is i'll create another file variable called probably file output and i'll create a new file again the way we did earlier here but in this case since the file existed so it will take from there this time i am creating a new file okay i can do one thing at this i can just reuse and every everything i'll reuse the path also probably i can just rename this file from images to output.jpg or output one.jpg probably i'll create multiple files and um, now what i'll do is i'll also create something called file output stream and file output stream new file output stream and i can give the our file as my input to this output stream so now once we have it output stream what i can do is i can use this output stream to write bytes which we already have bytes array and i think i can close the output stream close perfect so there are a couple of this uh, i think error add exception or oh, we can either add try catch or add exception to the meta i think i'll go with this approach here for this case it's much more cool and it's clean so it will just add this exception over here so i think that's all i think it should work now so let me restart my emulator okay so it has come up if you notice so first image is already showing because of this our part now let me click on the second thing so if you notice the size the length and width is almost similar however the picture quality has definitely gone down so i don't know i've zoomed a bit or probably i'll zoom a bit more so that it's apparent on the screen as well so this picture looks much more clean and much more tidy however this if you see the pixels quality of this image is really really bad also i'll quickly go to my downloads folder and see whether this output file has been created or not so i can see that output file has been created and however the size of this output file is 3.4 kilobytes however the original 
file is 22.64 kilobyte so definitely there is a reduction in the quality of the image and if i try to open it and see the image quality has definitely gone bad and um, yeah if i open the second another image the original one the images this is much more cleaner and cool so that's all i wanted to show you that uh, 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 that the quality i mean not the quality i mean of course you have to take a hit somewhere when you are reducing the size uh, so you can reduce the size by compressing your existing image using your this compress method on the bitmap image and then you can save it also as a second file in your uh, yeah in your in your folder so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye